So I was looking to get one of these Super Nintendo um, controllers made by Nintendo uh, to work with the Switch. But I'd like to use... I haven't gotten mine in yet. Um, as you can see, they're out of stock. Um, but as far as I know, it should be able to work with the 8-bit uh, chip thing. So this thing, the retro receiver for the uh, classic... Uh, Nintendo's so when I went to their update page uh, to see if uh, it's supported um, it says version 1.16 uh, if I click update log um, 1.14 download but the newest version which doesn't say which version it is uh, says it supports added support for the switch Super Famicom and uh, SNES controller. So, it's there in theory, but not in version 1.14. So, if I just click firmware updater, that brings me to download this thing, which I, I have mine plugged in, my uh, dongle, um, and as you can see, I'm on version 1.16 beta 2, but it will it wants to put me back on 1.14. It it will only go up to version 1.14 in the uh, official firmware updater. So to uh, to get around that, uh, you can go over here and click update log and click download for the oh sorry. So what you want to do is sorry you don't download this one you right click and click copy link location for version 1.14 and then you open up a new tab oh uh, I've already done it um, but open up a new tab paste and go oh sorry that's not what you do open up a new tab right click paste so that you've got the address there and then change version 1.14 to 1.16 and then just click enter and then it will let you download it version 1.16 uh, retro receiver okay click download or uh, open but download is good and it will also actually give you the firmware updater to install it from uh, from my memory so I'll go ahead and open it yeah so it's got the update retro receiver updater and it's also got the firmware with the 1.16 so instead of opening up the newer one uh, that uh, updater that it defaults to you open that one in the zip file and it brings you this and um, you basically just follow the instructions. Let me close this. Um, will this work? So yeah, hold down pair button of receiver and connect to PC. Let's see if I can do that one-handed. Um, yeah. Okay, there. See, it says I'm already on the new version, which makes sense but uh, now it registered it, so you'd click update. You'd look for the file in the same folder, so it's this one, right? And then click open. I'm not going to, because uh, I already did it. It would slowly, uh, you'd see a little progress bar going across here, it would, and then it would be done. And then uh, you just unplug it. If you can eject it in the corner, go ahead. Um, I don't think I did, but anyways, I, I don't, ha like I said, I don't have uh, one of the uh, controllers yet, but um, in the update log for version 1.16, I'm assuming, because uh, that's what it says there, and then update log. It's the newest version in here, other than the official one. Now, it says B uh, for beta for the uh, 
1.16 so that's probably why it doesn't show the download link here it's still the beta version so um, you know take that as you will but uh, that is a way to theoretically get the uh, retro receiver to work with the SNES controller uh, official from Nintendo